more energy runs the favourite. He came from last at the home turn to win at Caloundra. This is not Caloundra. This is Doombin. I just got a sneaking suspicion that horse might have turned the corner. More energy. Now he's had a couple of runs over a bit of ground. And Chris Anderson's just about got him right. He covered them very quickly at the Sunshine Coast, but this is a different kettle of fish around here, as we know. But you can come off the speed and win here if the race is, races are run hard. You saw that the previous race. I mean, Architect, he was about six off the lead at the home turn. He had it won. So you can you can come from a long way back at Durban, but you've got to have the speed on. So that, that will apply here to more energies. And Glenn Collis very good at getting horses home from a long way back in the field. While Hahn's been well back, then looks well, weighing on allergies, which is marking time. So we're just about ready. Lighters on. And they're racing now. More energy jumped out OK, but Collis quickly grabbed it and go over behind them. And credit only was the first to go from Eagle Shaman. Valerie de Moore began OK with Walk to the Bar. Fifth column and Walham going forward. Cruise by a bit deep from Satirical Boy. Allergies barge and charge. More energy's got over the inside, running third last. Jupiter Palm is going to get over there, second last, and Morgan is last. Out of the straight by the 1600 metres, and credit only the leader, a half to Valerie de Moore. Eagle Sharman sitting in third position, fifth column outside it. Two and a half to Walhan, fifth on the outside of Walk to the Bar, a length and a half to Cruise by, just a little bit deep, trying to sneak in. Satirical boys between runners, barge in charge on the fence, followed by Elegies. Then comes more energy back the third last, two and a half, Jupiter Palm, two to more than good speed on in the back, 1,200 metres to go, so this will give more energy its chance in the latter part of the race from here. Valerie to more at the 1,100 metres mark, two to credit only, two and a half to fifth column, outside Eagle Sharman, two to Walhan, each has bowling along there in fifth position. Cruise by hasn't been able to get in, three deep, walk to the bars on the rail, followed by a satirical boy, it's a bit wide. Allergies between runners, barge in charge on the fence, followed by more energy, Jupiter Palm, and Morvin is last. To the 800 metres mark, and Valerie to more by two. Credit only in second position, a similar margin, Eagle Sharman. They're followed by fifth column on the outside from Walk to the Bar. Walhan improving in between runners, and they're followed then by Cruz, by Satirical Boy, Barge in Charge, Jupiter's Palm Allergies, more energy, shuffle back the second last on the bend, and more than last as they come around the corner. Valerie Damore heads up for home, uh, heads up for home from Cruz, by on the outside, and they're followed then by... Eagle, Sharman, Walhan, and more energies trying to get home from a long way back. Valerie de Moore in credit only in the lead of the 200 metres mark from Walhan. Here's more energy. It needs to get the split. It's got it. It's through. More energies dash through at the 100 metres mark. Takes the lead. Eagle, Sharman runs on, but it's more energy. More energy won it easily from a photo between Eagle, Sharman, and Walhan. The next time in the race, Valerie de Moore, credit only, walk to the bar. Barge in charge, fifth column. Allergies, Jupiter Palm, Morvan, a long way back in the field, satirical boy and last time was cruise by. That'll be the ride of the day. Take a good ride to knock that one off. More energy, Chris Anderson and Glenn Collis get the money. 3, 10 and 140 uh, from either Eagle Sharman. Yeah, Eagle Sharman will get second just in front of Walhan in third position. Yes, I mentioned the other day he came from last at the Sunshine Coast and had them covered. It's a different kettle of fish here, but he was still able to get the job done. Even though he got shuffled back, Collis took all the shortcuts from the 450 metres home and came through near the inside. Then he got the split at the right time and was able to go home and win. So let's confirm these numbers here, and they are 9, 6, 5, 11. 96511. Okay. How is that, Chris? Good? Right. Yeah, full, full credit to Glenn Collis. He, uh, yeah, he's something a long way back and just never panics these bikes, do they? They're, they're just first class riders and, um, yeah, I'll take my hat off to him. Two runs ago, he failed here over a bit of ground, but his Sunshine Coast win was good and that might have just topped him off and just got him to relax a little bit better today. Yeah, look, hindsight's a wonderful thing. He's a horse, if he's going to get the journey, he's got to be ridden quiet. He can't be third defence. And Glenn put him in an outstanding spot that day, but we learned a lot more from him and we took him back to the Sunshine Coast and uh, 
writing exactly the same pattern as what we did today. And, uh, geez, he, he, he just wrote, I can't, it was an 11 out of 10. But he's got this horse. It's only his 13th go today for his third win. Absolutely. And it's really only his second race preparation. He had a long time off. He had 12 months in the paddock. And uh, he's, he's, he's got a lot to learn still. OK, well done. Thanks so much. Good on you, Chris. Yeah, that's uh, Chris. And let's go back to... Uh, Michael Maxworthy for the uh, mounting yard for race seven at uh, Newcastle. Well, race number seven.